I complained about you or anybody, but they didn't get a result because we don't have the teeth, right? They don't have the, the answer. They don't have the teeth to say you can't raise that rent that much. You can't tell them. Okay. So rent control would allow a cap of some kind. I'm not saying we should do it, but I think we should think about it because if we're not, if we're losing all these wonderful people who may not be wealthy enough to continue with these houses. Like my mother had to move to assisted living, but that's because she's 98 tomorrow. It's her birthday. Wow. The thing is, she's in West Orange. She's nearby. But the apartment she lived in was mine. I could just, you know, let her live there basically. I would pay some of the expenses to get away with it. But she would have been paying 2,000 a month to stay in that apartment normally. But she got away with life, life cheaper because I'm her son and gave her my condo to live in. But you know, how can people, senior citizens, stay? How can people who can't afford it stay? So we have to start thinking about so it. Would that be a maybe on the um, I would, say <laughs> would that be a maybe? Okay. I'm not saying that something okay. that Thank was you. Right. All right. All right. And this woman just healed okay. the weekend was very it was a crying woman. Right. And many of us here are crying yeah. internally, and so are. we're just trying yeah. to figure out if there would be any support on the council to even consider something like yeah, that. Yeah, I would so consider that. I'll put you down as a maybe. maybe. So the opportunity <laughs> hey, well, get anyway. to <laughs> tell me <laughs> out. Change the ordinance. Now, I have not checked to see what the um, rent increase ordinance is. Most municipalities do have one. Um, some of them are, are capped at 4%, and it considers the um, annual, what's it called? Uh, rent of cost of living, cost of living increase um, that it should either be equal to or not more than. So, we want to talk about. Um, having the council, council take <coughs> that at the ordinance in place um, that they would go on by resolution, you know, and agree that, you know, for the municipality, 4% is reasonable. Now, then it gets down to the individual owner. And, for example, with regard to some of the affordable units, because there may be municipal and or state monies in there, we can't raise the rent, but maybe 1.8% or whatever that is. Hi. My name is Brenda Myrick. I'm not a resident of Montclair, but I work in Montclair at Interfaith Hospitality Network, and we work with a lot of low-income people. So based on your situation, your situation, when you have landlords that come in and you've been living in your units and they go up, we've seen that coming to our doors, and we have been able to use them. We don't have a lot of money, so I'm not putting this out there. Um, unrestricted funds to help low-income families stay in this town. So I urge everyone to get together, mobilize, because I can't vote in this town. I can come out to these meetings and represent my agencies and represent the families, but it's up to 